Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a very special awakening video. Today, I am about to awaken the brand new login hero of December, guys. The Shadow Rider Soren is about to transform and change before our very eyes. Uh, as you can already see, I've already done part one. We've got his item. Uh, I got all his equipment. He's orange plus two. Let's check out his abilities. They are all set as well. So we're actually going to test this guy out pretty good today and see if he's uh, viable in any area of the game. So far, I haven't uh, really been able to use him everywhere because he's only two stars. So arena, not that useful. Obviously, nowhere else really useful. But let's see what this awakening is going to do for this guy. All right. So let's go ahead and jump to part number two. All right, part number two, Bountiful Cavern, the Tidal Temple. I've already done four out of six, so all we gotta do now is sweep the last two parts, and that's it. Complete! Let's go! Finish this off right here, and let us just accept this part now. Bam! Part number three, uh, chapter 14, something, something, nobody dying. That's all I need to see, guys. I don't need to read the rest of that, because it's unnecessary. Because we are going to destroy these guys right now. We're gonna just obliterate them with Batman. Go Batman, use your special skills of non-superpowers. Let's go you. Ah, Grammore. Let's see if Grammore can do some work. Put in work. Put in work. Alright, let's go guys, auto fight this. And let's see what our boy Soren has to say here. I strike from the shadows. Ha, huh, what? No you don't. Okay, all right, this is gonna be freaking easy as hell But I am curious to see what this guy is gonna look like. Ooh, I love transformation videos guys The darkness will prevail damn this guy's all about the darkness, huh? Boy the power of darkness the power of light will not prevail in this case I'm really hoping that he's actually really good guys. I really am keep pressing onward Because I'm loving this dude I love his look. I love that he rides on a horse. You know what I'm saying? Our quest is complete. Yes, it is. Let's go back. Back, 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 back. All right, get back. All right, guys. Fingers crossed. Put your hands together for your boy. Because uh, I'm really hoping this guy is awesome looking right now. Let's go soaring high. Come on. Let's do this. Oh, what the hell is that? All right, so it didn't change that much except a lot more light blue. That horse changed. Is that a unicorn? That's some kind of a strange unicorn that you don't even see. But, uh, Wozers, Bowsers, his armor on the shoulders changed. I think his blade might even change too. I'm not really sure, but he looks awesome. Whoa! That's what I'm talking about right there. What? Oh, uh, that looks sick. Oh, that's such a sick card right there. Wow. But why is this horse not included? Come on, man. This looks like he's not even riding a horse. And this card looks badass, man. This guy looks like one of the best heroes in the game. But will he actually be? I'm not sure. But damn, the card looks sick. I mean, if I ever saw this card, I'd be like, yo, this dude looks awesome as hell. I would love to have him on my team. Damn. Looking good, Soren. Soaring high and low. Alrighty then. So yeah, from the first picture, pretty much just more light blue. That's the only thing that's kind of changed here. But either way, let's go ahead, guys. Let's break down this ability. Let's see what it does. Dark Aura here. Soaring continuously restores some health of all ally units on the battlefield. All allies receive 189 health per second. Hmm... Alright, that's not a lot of health, but is this continuously throughout the whole battle? Because if it is, that's pretty sick. Hmm, continuously restores. It doesn't say for a certain amount of time. It doesn't say anything. It just says he's going to keep restoring. I'm going to keep... I'm going to max this out, guys, for you guys right now. Right here, right now. I'm not going to wait. We're maxing this out. Let us see. 306 health per second at the maximum level. Alright, doesn't seem crazy. I really can't do anything uh, with him right now, guys, because at two stars, you cannot equip ruin stones. If you didn't already know, each ruin stone opens at a certain star level. So three, four stars here, and five stars, right? So depending on your star level, that's when you can equip ruin stones. So we can't do nothing yet. And as for a pet, um, you know, I really could... I got a bunch of green pets here, but I don't know what to give them. 
This one is a big health boost. After entering the battlefield, Snapper gives his master a shield that blocks physical damage. Okay, right there, perfect. Snapper looks like a good pet to have. What? Hero unmatched condition? What is... What? Why not? Alright. Hmm, that doesn't make any sense. Alright, so I guess I can't equip the... A pet on him, I'm not sure why, but that's kind of strange. But either way, we don't need a pet on him, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go on to the next part here. All right, first things first, we're going to just quickly just auto forge 50 times. Let's just go ahead 50 time auto forge. And uh, it's still kind of strange why the pet wouldn't go on him. I'm not really sure. Uh, I might have to do a little more digging. Could it be that pets can only go on heroes with a certain amount of stars? I'm not sure. Maybe a hero has to be three stars at least, maybe four stars, five stars. I'm not sure about that, guys. If you know, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Why or was it just this weird glitch? You know what I'm saying? Maybe it was just a weird glitch. I'm not sure, but maybe there is some kind of conditions. Anyways, here we are. And the next bonus that he can get is a max health bonus of 400 physical armor and then a magic armor. So this guy is all defensive, guys. All defensive. Seems like a really cool... Support, healing, tank. That's all. That's what he's all about. Support and healing, guys. So, not bad. Let's go on now and uh, check this guy out in a battle here. All right. So here we are in a battle, guys. So what I did is I put my four main heroes that I have: Batman, Petros, Volko, and Mira. And then I just added in Soren. Let's see if uh, this guy provides enough support for them to actually survive and win this battle. This is for second place in my arena, which is pretty good, pretty high. So let's. Alright, this dude died. He fucking sucks! Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> uh, you can't really compare him just yet because of his low star level. And then I haven't even enchanted his all of his items yet. So, it's kind of unfair for now. But, damn it, we just got murked. Alright, guys, so the arena didn't work out because he's too low star level. Two stars won't do it. And I haven't enchanted everything yet because of the low gold. So I just decided to take him in a campaign battle and just try him out this way. I think uh, I can actually get a good sense of his abilities here. Because he's definitely, definitely not ready for the arena for me right now. Because arena is no, no joke, legit right now. So let's just check out his abilities. But too bad, Gremor is too powerful and will not let us even get our freaking abilities off here. This is crazy. Alright, that's dead. So let's go into the final stage here. And let's just see. Go ahead. Let's go his ultimate. So this is what his ultimate, guys. Boom! Surrounds himself in a nice aura that he only... He uh, absorbs all damage and turns it into health. Alright, guys? That's why it's so good. But he's dead. This is too hard for him. And Gremor as well. Damn it. No, no bueno. No bueno at all. Alright, guys. So all tests I've done for Soren, he freaking failed. Failed everything. Arena got smashed. Even the campaign, he got smashed. Damn it, Soren, why must you suck so hard? Uh, I can't still judge him yet. I still have a feeling of 7 stars. If I max him out, he might be a lot more useful in the arena, survive a little bit longer. Maybe he's going to have a nice place in stall teams. Uh, I definitely see him usable in the Crucible of Fire, though. For sure, in the Crucible of Fire. But... Not in the Hall of Legends and not in the raids, guys. To be honest, right now, if I had to choose between him or somebody else, I would probably go with somebody else. I'm not too impressed with Soren just yet. Just a healer tank. Nothing really too special about him. None of his abilities really stand out like crazy. His ultimate is nice, you know, it just absorbs a lot of damage, turns it into health, which is nice. Mm. Hand of Justice increases more health. Sh uh, Shadow Shield, uh, just another shield that absorbs damage for one of your weakest allies, which is okay. And this Ice Armor is another shield here. Protects his allies, helping them resist magic damage. So this one is pretty good to resist magic damage of your uh, for all your allies. But too bad the meta right now is physical, so he's not really helping out too much in that. But either way... I have to get him to higher star level right now, and I have to enchant all of his items before we'll really know what this guy is all about. So I'll keep you guys, you know, in touch and let you guys know how he's doing throughout my live streams, so you guys can see for yourself. But as for right now, I would probably hold off on working on your soaring, guys, to be honest. If you have somebody else in mind that you kind of wanted to do, and you weren't sure if you want to go with Soren or that guy first, let me go with the other guy, unless he's Hanzo, 
or Amber or some crap like that. But uh, there's a lot of other heroes that are probably work on before this guy that are way more useful, alright? That's just my honest opinion. I'm honest with you guys. I don't lie to you. I tell you the truth on how I feel. So, he's kind of one of the newer heroes that I haven't been too, too impressed about. But I could be wrong. Seven stars could be a big difference. But we'll have to wait and see for that, alright? So, for now, guys, I'm going to end it off here. I hope you enjoyed this Awakening video. And I'll catch you guys next time on another Soul Hunters video. So then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out, guys.